thank you very much for your kind uh, introduction and also everybody's uh, attendance in my presentation. And this presentation will be focused on the recent structure activity relationship studies on natural occurring saponin source as potent alpha glucosidase inhibitors. Maybe it's not closely related to the main topic of this conference, but uh, actually uh, uh, some part of my presentation is closely related to the concept of green chemistry because we have just uh, developed an efficient uh, construction way to get the uh, very interesting uh, chemical uh, structures which will be debriefed late, uh, lately. This presentation uh, is comprised of uh, four sections, and uh, let's take a look at the first section. Uh, as you know, the diabet, diabet has become a, a global concern for uh, decades of years, and there are many uh, ways and many drugs who, who can deal with the diabetes. Uh, one promising way is the inhibition of alpha glucosidase. This, uh, these are enzymes which can delay the breakdown of the uh, polysaccharides. So this, uh, this, uh, this kind of drug is especially efficient in uh, Asian countries because, as you know, the people in this area, they just uh, eat a lot of carbohydrate in their meals. In 1997, the salicinone was uh, first isolated by Yoshikawa and co-workers from the sterns of Salicylic reticulata, which uh, is largely distributed in India and Sri Lanka. As shown in this picture, the structure of salicinone is quite unique, bearing this five-member uh, tire sugar sulfonium cation and the side chain contain, containing the sulfate anion. Its in vitro uh, biological uh, evaluation showed that the alpha glucosidase inhibitor activity of salicinone was as much as strong as those of voglibose and arcobose, which are uh, used clinically as the uh, antibiotics. So ever since then, its side chain analogs, cotalano, Honklano and Salapuino, as well as the ideal sulfonated versions were subsequently isolated from the same species of plant. The previously reported uh, SAS studies on this series of compounds revealed that this uh, sulfonium moiety is quite important. The, the three hydroxyl groups and the steel chemistry here is quite important for the in inhibition. And uh, the this part and the side chain should be connected in alpha orientation. The cooperative role of uh, two hydroxyls on two, uh, two dash and four dash position is quite important. But the existence of sulfate moiety is not so important for the activity. The second part is the synthetic and biological studies on neoponclano and its side chain epimers. Neoponclano could be synthesized from the tire sugar and the triplet derived from D glucose. Similarly, its three dash and five dash epimers could be synthesized by tire sugar and the triplet derived from D galactose and D monose, respectively. First, let's take a look at the synthesis of neoponclano. The known compound, primary alcohol, a, uh, a, uh, nine was first subjected to triflation reaction and the resulting triflate was coupled with, with tire sugar in THF to get the desired sulfonium salt, 12, which was then subjected to hydrogen, uh, hydrogenolysis ion exchange reaction and ring opening reduction to get the target compound. Similarly, the non also uh, 14 is commercially available. This primary alcohol was uh, converted to the target compound 3 dash epimer of neoponclano. And when we try to synthesize the uh, 5 dash neo uh, epi neoponclano, we encounter a very interesting uh, reaction. Uh, first, the known compound was converted to the triflation, and the coupling reaction of 19 with tire sugar was conducted in a similar way. Besides the, the uh, desired 
product. Another two compound was also isolated as side product. After we carefully analyzed uh, the uh, structure of these two side product, we proposed a plausible mechanism that the uh, triplet is believed to exist in two conformations within the reacting system. When the tire sugar attack the uh, triplet moiety in conformation A, directly attack this moiety, we can get the, uh, our desired sulfonium salt 22. While if the uh, tire sugar attacks the uh, benzoxy moiety, and this oxygen will attack the uh, triplet moiety, the intramolecular cyclization will be triggered to give the uh, tricyclic compound 20 together with another sulfonium salt 21. As shown in this slide, the, all of the synthesized compounds showed uh, potent inhibition against the three enzymes, especially the two, uh, three dash epi neoponclanone showed the most uh, active uh, property against the enzyme and, and also sometimes uh, for isomaltase it is stronger than voglibose. Because of the side uh, reaction we encountered, the sulfonium salt was obtained in really uh, low yield. So we tried to optimize the synthetic route by substitute benzo production by different kind of esters. So in this way, we choose the acetyl, propionyl, butyl, and the benzoyl to get the uh, corresponding sulfonium uh, salt. It's very lucky that with esters protection, the uh, yield of coupling reaction was improved from 64% to 88%, and 33% uh, in these trials, we, uh, uh, the uh, intramolecular cyclization as side reaction was encountered to uh, 85%. Let's go back to this, this slide. So as far as the uh, synthesis of neoponclanone being concerned, this one is the target, target product. But on the other hand, this structure is also very interesting because the, this is three six and hydro uh, hexaside structure could be found in many bioactive uh, natural product and synthetic molecules. So, if we use electron withdrawn protecting group, we can only get this one in, uh, in nearly 90% yield. And if we use benzo group, which is a neutral protecting group, so we can get this one and this one. This is in 40%. So if we change the protecting group from electron withdrawing to electron donating, maybe we can get improve the yield of this, this, this product. So we choose the uh, paramethoxy benzo, which is a uh, strong e electron donating group, to substitute at this, especially at the uh, one, two, three, three position uh, of the uh, hydroxyls. It's very lucky that this compound could be obtained in 98%, almost uh, quantitatively. So also uh, the, uh, this reaction, uh, this method, with, with this method, is also suitable for uh, other carbohydrate bearing different uh, sugar skeletons. And uh, the previously reported uh, method to synthesize this kind of structure, structure relied, also relied on the intramolecular cyclization from position three to position six, which were uh, bearing a living group. This living group including uh, uh, methylate, fluorine, bromine, iodine, uh, also, um, and uh, ph uh, phosphenium. But this method, they are not uh, cost effective. They are uh, long reacting time, and the yield is uh, usually approximately 50%. And also, uh, this condition, uh, these uh, reactions should be conducted in extremely harsh conditions. And also, some, for some regions, for example, uh, the phosphenium is very poisonous, poison, so it's not uh, environmental benign. With our newly developed uh, method, 
So these, uh, all, in all trials, the yield is up to 90%, and the reaction could be finished within hours, four or, four or five hours. So uh, I didn't make additional slide because uh, we just submitted our uh, paper to the organic letter and just uh, now it's under uh, minor review pr process. Hope it will be accepted in the near future. And maybe next time I will share, share with you our uh, research in this area. So the third part is the structural modification and the biological evaluation of neo -selectional. Professor Nakamula and co-workers also conducted the molecular docking of uh, salicinol with the, uh, uh, the enzymes. As shown in this picture, uh, most of the parts of salicinol was, uh, can, is intruded into the active binding pocket, but this part, this part equals to sulfate, sulfate moiety, cannot, inter, uh, cannot uh, enter this pocket. Besides, this part, this sulfate part, was surrounded by the hydrophobic uh, uh, residues of the uh, enzyme. So which means if we introduce hydrophobic groups on this position, maybe it will be helpful to incre uh, increase the affinity of the substrate with the enzyme. So different hydrophobic substitution was introduced to the uh, three dash position as shown here. And uh, for all of the synthesized compounds, they showed very potent uh, alpha glucosidase inhibitor activity against uh, all of the, these three enzymes. And it's very lucky that with the also nitro benzo substitution on three dash position, this compound was revealed to be the most potent inhibitor up to date. Molecular docking showed that uh, for this part, the interaction is almost the same. For, uh, for this part, this is also a uh, nitrobenzo group. This part, th this part can interact with the uh, hydrophobic residues of the enzyme by the hydro uh, hydrophobic interaction and also pipeline pi-pi interaction, which can uh, explain why this compound showed 40 times stronger than salicinol. The last part is the total synthesis of neocotalanol. As shown in the former slide, the neocotalanol uh, neo is the most complicated uh, natural, product, natural product of this serious compound. Uh, and it has eight chiral centers within the uh, structure. So the absolute stereochemistry of neocotalanol was not uh, elucidated 10 years after its uh, isolation. The so last year, we reported the total synthesis of this compound, which began with this compound. This is non-compound. After the deprotection of aerial and Vitic reaction, we get the terminal olefin. Then we connect this to, we protect these two hydroxyls by methane and Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation and protection by benzo and the deprotec uh, deprotection of TPDPSA with TPAF to get this uh, primary alcohol, which was then subjected to the trifolation reaction to get the triflet 38, which is a very important uh, precursor of the uh, next coupling reaction. It is interesting, again, the coupling re reaction with triflet and uh, tire sugar. Uh, also, uh, there are two modes. In root A, the direct attack of tire sugar provided the 39, this is our target compound. And also we isolated another two side, uh, actually this is not side product because this is 70% uh, 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 and this is only 24%. So maybe if we change benzyl group with other uh, electron withdrawing group, maybe the yield of 19, uh, 39 will be increased. increased. In the last step, uh, Sophonian thought 
uh, was subjected to the depression with loose acid under extremely low temperature and ion exchange compound to get the target compound neocotalanum. Uh, it has eight chiral centers in this very specific. Uh, I would like to say thank you for Professor uh, Wu Xiaoming. Uh, he is my boss in uh, China Pharmaceutical University, and also Professor uh, Xu Jingyi, Yao Hechuan, and also Professor uh, Osamu Mularuka and Associate Professor Genzo Tanabe, which supervised my study in Kinki University. And uh, these are my student, uh, Dr. Candidate Liu Dan, and Master Liu Long, uh, Wang Chenqian, and He Wei Gang. So this is uh, our new campus of China Pharmaceutical University. Uh, it's very beautiful, so if there's a chance, I'd like to invite you to come to our university. And last, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the advice, for the conclusion, and I think there are some questions. The how stable your your uh, this sulfur plus species, the 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 molecule that you synthesized, that is sulfur plus, right? Which one? Whatever the molecules you synthesized, that they they all have sulfur plus, right? Eleven A reacting with the triflate. Yeah, uh, this is sulfonium. This one. Yeah, thirty nine. Yeah. How stable it is? Oh, actually, um, yeah, this is a very good question. Uh, and during our synthetic uh, procedure, one problem is to maintain the uh, stability of this compound because this uh, sulfonium cation is quite sensitive to basic condition. Even under a mild basic condition, it will be decomposed. So when we uh, choose the protected group, we must choose those groups which can be easily cleaved uh, under a neutral uh, or acid uh, mm. condition. Yeah. Otherwise, this is, uh, mm, will be decomposed very easily. And so also, uh, yeah. You haven't observed any equilibrium between 39 and 38A, or 39 and then byproduct. Mm -hmm. There may be some equilibrium, right? Your triflate can attack yeah. on the, uh, look at the structure number 39. Number 39? Yeah. Yeah. Third, yeah. The, it's a counter ion, you've got salt, right? Is triflate is also nucleophilic. Triflate? Yeah. Yeah. It can, you know, uh, uh, decompose your material. Yes, yes. Uh, you see, uh, the triflate will be decomposed under acid condition. Mm -hmm. So in, uh, for the triflation, we use the base, for example, 2,6-lutidine uh, or uh, DMAP or uh, puridine. So this base to uh, maintain the basic condition. Once the tire sugar was connected on this position, it will change from triflet, which is sensitive to acid condition, to the uh, sulfonium salt. But this one is sensitive to uh, alkali condition. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.